At the end of the struggle, only one courier remained in the heart of the divide. The true courier. Courier 6. The courier tore the ancient flag of the Commonwealth from its cables and cast it over the corpse. Though whether done as a sign of respect or in anger for what had been endured to reach this moment, that is unknown. Interpretation is something best left to history, and only the surviving courier would ever know for certain. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end.